Listen to the sirens. The irony, huh? The irony. Or the sirony. Listen. It could be ambulance though. It could be police. I don't know. Either way, the point I want to try to make here is what the George Floyd verdict actually means. It just means that George Floyd's family got justice. Yeah? Their family, his family got justice. Yeah? Now, the hard truth is this. You can celebrate all you want. You can be happy all you want. But the reality is that's just a battle. That's one battle one. The war is still on. And you add, like, when it comes to war, you need a strategy in order for you to win. And the best way, uh, maybe I can't say the best way, but one way that I do recommend for us to win this war is simply by having our own communities. Like literally having our own communities and being self-sufficient the way we was prior to colonialism. Like, it, it to me, that makes more sense. My, cause my thing is like, wait, how the fuck here yeah, can, you know, they say like, they abolished slavery, called it free to slave, after many years of rebellion and stuff like that. So they could take because it was affecting the economy and stuff like that. That's the only time they make changes when it affects the economy. Um, like, deep the game, like, deep it. All right, so imagine that now, yeah? So it's like, all right, cool. So, well, not cool. That, so the, the free, well, that is cool. Free and slave, or free black people, should I say. And then after that, black people, especially in America, as far as I'm aware, I'm not sure about in the UK, but especially in America, there was quite a number of black people that had their own community base and they were being self-sufficient. Now, the money circulated, however, was still you know, the oppressors or whatever, but at the same time, they had their own towns, they had their own everything, you know what I'm saying? Like Tulsa, you know what I mean? In, I think that's Oklahoma, right? Um, and then there was another one in in New York as well, um, I think in Central Park, I forgot what it was called, I think it was something, Seneca Village. Um, then there was another one in America, I can't remember where, I think there was one in Chicago as well, um, if I'm if I'm rightly believing, which is mad how Chicago is now and it completely yeah. out. Anyway, so my thing is, after that, it's like, so what now? And that's because of the Jim Crow laws as well, why they ended up being in that position at, at the same time. So it's like, alright, cool. So they found a way to survive and thrive. But when it became all right for black people to, you know, integrate, everything seemed to get fucked up, let's be real. Although there's been some good out of certain situations, because think about it, would hip hop exist without that? I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Would jazz, would uh, 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 R&B, would soul, like, and I'm talking about the culture and it, and 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 the, the music. No, you mean I'm a music lover in it. So obviously, I'm, I look at certain things. I'm like, this appeared because of this, or this situation happened because of that situation that happened. That triggered. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many things that trigger off every other thing. So it's like, alright, cool. So, boom. And then you're like, alright, cool. So, but then if someone starts mistreating you. Or if they're mistreating you in the process of trying to, you you want equality, you want to be treated right. But prior to that, they had certain laws where they were against you in the first place. So why the fuck do you want to still be there? Like, like to me, it's like shit don't make sense to me. Do you know what I mean? It don't make sense to me. So I'm like, the only way I can make sense of this is like, all right, cool. Go where you are accepted, where you are wanted, where you are celebrated. And if you cannot find that place, create that place and then bring other people 
through to fill in that space and do you know what I mean that need to be celebrated and stuff like that that, that is the, the best possible solution to this problem that's what this word actually means God, like, they're just going to be unfortunately I hate to say it and I want to be careful with the word I'm using but if we don't if we don't fix up fast there's going to be a lot more because some of them some of them don't care about body cam or other people filming they don't care especially like we live in an era of social media right they know their face is gonna go viral they know that not only is their face gonna go viral if their name gets out there their name gets out there and they do you, you see what i mean so they win. Even if they end up in jail, they still win. So we've got to play them on their own game. And that's by having our own communities. So if you want to help bring that into fruition, click the link in the description box below. Where it says make a donation. You can make a donation of any amount. And then we'll be able to do whatever is necessary to be able to bring that into fruition. Alright? So if you've got any other questions, any topics you'd like for us to discuss in the videos, leave it in the comment section below. And remember, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next.